Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bone. So I spend about 4,000 tokens. Yes, 4,000 on being for real. We had 6,000 something. I'll show you guys right here. Y'all could see it up there. 6,349 tokens. And now just a little later, we're down to 2,100. I'm going to show you guys what I spend the tokens on. I'm going to show you guys basically the order that I picked and then what the team is looking like we're gonna start off with the pink diamond rewards because that's what we're up to so we finally have cards to pick from man time to redeem we're gonna start off with the one and only rj barrett welcome to the squad rj okay we got one nick pulling up right here next nick we're gonna get is patrick ewing yes i know i could have got him years ago but we're gonna get him right now it's cool what's good patty 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 what's goody welcome to the squad my guy i think it's lagging slowly next we get the guy from the other side of the bridge my man the one and only d -Lo. ice in his veins russell let's go baby that's my guy right there and then you gotta follow him up with the next man bro next man standing joe well the process Embiid, you still a party pooper? I know, I know, I know, but you know what? Michael Beasley doesn't care what anyone's got to say about nothing, baby. Yo, we just went down in tokens like crazy, but we still high. We still high, bro. All right, we got to pick up two more, right? So give me one second, right? It's just two more, right? I don't want to pick up anything extra at all. So the question is, who are the next two that we're picking up, right? That's what you guys want to know. I think I'm going to take Reggie Lewis just to take Reggie Lewis. Chris Mullen, welcome to the squad, right? This is all that matters, though, bro. We still got 5,000 tokens, bro. 5,000. How many of these can we pick up? Somebody do the math, bro. Four of these are 3,000. Bro, I think we could actually, like, get them all. Who do we start with? The one and only, Zach Levine. Welcome to the squad, my guy. Opal glows. You feel it? Next up. You already know. We picking up the one and only Josh Smith. Okay. Oh, man. Get three and you get 150K. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Good call, man. That's a good call. Next up, we're going to get Timmy D. I'm allowed seven. That's insane, bro. I'm saving the tokens, though. We're saving the tokens. We're going to get Bradley Bill. Right? Do I get David Robinson now? Or do I just wait till one day they do something else? Maybe they'll add something else someday. But the only four we don't have are the old ones. We got the four new ones. All right. Let's get in here and we get 150k MT. Let's go. 150k. So that was done live on stream. Then I picked up some other cards. I picked up the Amish Trevor Ariza. I picked up the Amethyst Otto Porter. Picked up Jonathan Isaac, who's an absolute stud. Julius Randle. Then we got a new budget card that came out today in Thon Maker Beast card. So this is what all the new cards that we got today look like, right? This is pretty much all the ones that I added just from today. You see the opals, a lot of opals. You see some beautiful pink diamonds. I love Embiid and all that. I played one game with the full squad. This was before I picked up Ariza and Otto Porter, but I had everyone else, all the diamonds, the pink diamonds, and the opals, and they all played pretty well. What I would say, because the questions are going to be as follows, which pink diamond do you recommend, right? If you need multiple pink diamonds to get to the opal, then it's easy. You obviously take the new ones. These, All these new ones are really, really good. So if you need like four, or if you need like six or eight or whatever, take these four for sure. They're better than any of the previous ones. Which one would I recommend over the others? I think Joel is the easiest card to use. Great defender, can shoot. His release is honestly better than theirs. They shoot a little slower. RJ is a really good defender, has a nice dunk package, can dunk the ball at will. Their jump shots are pretty slow. That's my only thing. Like, not slow in the fact that they take too long to shoot, but you're going to get contested more times than not. That's my thing with it. If they're open, they're good, though. The Diamonds, man, bro, Julius Randle and Jonathan Isaac are both studs. There's obviously other good ones. Whoever else just came out isn't bad at all, but these two are definitely top tier for me. I haven't tried Porter or Ariza, so I can't tell you, but when you're talking about Opals, you honestly can't go wrong with any of them. Zach Levine, personally, 
off my experience in that one game was getting stripped a lot he does not have unpluckable which is something i mentioned i showed all the badges and stats on all these cards in a video that i posted earlier today i'll link it down below if you guys want to see badges or stats for any of these cards go ahead and check it out but the one thing we did notice was that zach levine didn't have unpluckable we also saw that Bradley Beal had a beautiful, beautiful jump shot, 99, 98. Like, I mean, attribute wise, I like his jump shot. It's pretty fluid for me. Josh Smith, another great jump shot slash dunking abilities. I love all of it. And honestly, that's where it comes down to. You are different than me. And I always say this. You guys may not know this, especially if you don't watch me on stream. We stream on Twitch. I'll link that once again down below. It's always linked. But what ends up happening is this is called my team. It's not called your team. It's not called our team. It's not called any of that. My team means you build a team that you're comfortable with. We all have different teams for a reason. So I don't really like when you guys ask people to rate your squads. I don't really like when you guys ask people for their preferences. Especially when it's cards that have nothing to do like with each other. They're different cards. So it's always going to be preference. I don't know your play style. This Tim Duncan, for example, one of the best defending bigs in the game for sure. That's stuff I could tell you. But offensively i don't know if you're gonna be good with him i really don't know how you're gonna use him his jump shot's a little slow but he got quick first step and blows by people he's really fast for his size but at the same time i don't know if you're gonna be comfortable with that maybe you need guy that can pull and shoot threes so that's not your guy so that's just a little thing of what i want you guys to realize when you build your team kind of just build your own team if that makes sense well we'll also talk about i know i didn't bring this up earlier but the new cards that came out today, I already told you guys, Thon Maker's a beast. This Aaron Baines looks pretty good. Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, I didn't really check, but I heard he was pretty good too, like jump shot wise. Iguodala, man. Anyone who grinded the other Iggy is upset right now. But this Andre Iggy is really, really cheap for anyone that needs it. AI is going for about 100k, and that's because this Ben Simmons is the most expensive card. Well, he should have been, honestly. So, look, most expensive card to ever sell in 2K so far this year on PS4 was this Giannis. Glitched Giannis about a week ago or so. And then today, we came pretty close with this Ben Simmons. Look at the difference in MT. It's pretty close. Now, why is Ben Simmons going for so much? There's honestly a lot of reasons. You guys know that. There's obviously many, many reasons. One being that he runs the one, right? That is one major, major reason. He definitely ruined... I wouldn't say he ruined, but he affected the market for sure. Dude's a point guard power forward. Bro, 800k, 6'10". You guys see all the badges and all that. And he gets some upgraded badges. Why? Because he's an evolution card, bro. Imagine this Ben Simmons. Oh, he's so good. He gets range extender. And honestly, not any range extender. He gets Hall of Fame range extender with a 93 ball once he's evolved. I'll try to put the graphic on the screen right now so you guys can see. What I will tell you guys, however, is thankfully 500 threes to get it. But a lot of people are going to get it. I can only imagine how much the first evolved Opal Ben Simmons is going to go for. I'm sure it's going to go for a lot, a lot. Now, if anyone wants a video on how I got all these tokens, let me know. I'll make you guys a video. I'll definitely make that happen. Another thing is I will post right now, right here on the screen. You guys can see it. This is a new locker code for up to 30 tokens. If you didn't use it yet, make sure you use it. Hopefully, if you need tokens, you can get some tokens that you need for your rewards. Now, the real question I have for you guys is which one of these cards do you want to see gameplay for first? That's the real question. Whatever names I see you guys say, I will make it happen tomorrow for sure. Hey, maybe you guys just want me to do all the pink diamonds at once. Maybe all the opals at once. I could do that, honestly. All the diamonds at once. Amethyst at once. We could probably make a gameplay like that. I don't want to use them all at the same time. Because I feel like that way you won't really feel one card. Like, some of these cards are going to be the best cards on your team. Like, that Bradley Beal can run some dude's team and be the best card there for him. Maybe this Zach Levine is going to be your best card. Maybe Tim is going to be your best card. Maybe Jonathan Isaac will be your best card. At the end of the day, I feel like every one of these cards can have an impact on a game, whether you're RJ Barrett or Julius Randle. So I want to break it up into a way where we can like basically not have to showcase all of them at the same time. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Let me know what you guys have ideas with and make sure to let me know which name you want to see most because that's what I'm going to go off of. Whoever has the most like or the names commented the most, that's what I'll make happen. But yeah, guys, that's how I wasted 4,000 tokens today. 
I love you guys. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I'm glad I got to save some of you guys from using your tokens yesterday. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I might have had to upload it a little faster. But if you have my notifications on, you'll usually be able to keep track as well as follow me on Twitter. I always tweet out my advice whenever I can before videos go out or anything. You can always ask me questions there on tweets. I try to reply as much as I can. And yeah, guys, I'll be seeing you guys later. It's been your boy Mo's Balling and Balling out.